Jesse, you guys play in LSU Saturday night, obviously. Uh, it's kind of down there in your neck of the woods. Uh, does it mean any more to you that you're playing a school from your own backyard? Um, the politically correct answer would probably be no. Every game's the same, but, I mean, I'm human. Being from Louisiana, LSU is a school you grow up watching all the time. Everyone in Louisiana supports them or a team close by. So this game's definitely special, considering it being my last home game as an Ole Miss Rebel. It's a great opportunity for us, and they're number one team in the country. So this game is special just for that reason alone. And personally, yeah, it's pretty special to me. So got to go out there and make the best of this opportunity. What would it mean to you to, at this point, not only knock them off, but you'd, you'd be impacting the national race and all of that stuff? Right. So this game, it definitely has a lot on the line for us and for them. We got to go out there and earn some respect. I mean, everyone around this facility knows we're a few plays away from being a 9 and one team. And we're definitely, we can play like it. And so this team coming in, they're number one, but we have a lot to prove. So knocking them off, it'd be a great respect gainer for us. So we got to do what we got to do, play the best of our ability, and just do our job. When you were being recruited, Jason, this program was winning a lot more. Was, what has your time here been like? Has it been what you expected? Has it been difficult? And what's, would you reflect on that, please? Um, I wouldn't say everything's gone according to plan. But then again, what in life does. So, I mean, I came in as a QB and kind of switched over to positions to tight end. Had a bunch of great coaches from Coach Werner, Coach Freeze, Coach Harris, and the list goes on. So I had to transition from that. So my journey has definitely been unique, but let alone I'm grateful for it. I met a bunch of great guys throughout this time, and it's just it's a little emotional just thinking about it coming to an end sometime soon. So just got to make the best of this. Jason, Saturday night, the guys that came in the, in the media room after the game, all said you guys were in the locker room watching the end of the Alabama LSU game. Any rooting interest in that? I mean, did you want a possible number one LSU unbeaten team coming to Oxford on Saturday? Um, yeah, kind of. We were watching the game and we were just thinking it'd be great for us to knock off the number one team that beat Alabama. I mean, obviously, we didn't play the greatest of our ability against Alabama, and they're always a top team in the country. Hats off to them. And so for us to come out and have a possibility to beat the number one team that had a great game against Alabama. I feel like that'll do a lot for Ole Miss program. Growing up playing quarterback where you did, did you ever expect LSU to throw this much? Uh, no, not anytime soon. I mean, for the past few years, I feel like LSU, I mean, I'm not their coach. I'm not anything to do with them. But I mean, they just always had great talent all around the field. And I feel like now that they're throwing the ball, they're playing to a good level. And it's great for us. As a player, how hard is it for them to come down from that high, a win like that, and be ready to play and focus a week later? How hard is that? Um, there's definitely some challenges to that. When you beat a big opponent like that, you definitely can kind of get in your head, kind of let your head inflate a little bit. But I mean, for us, when we had games like that since I've been here, we've always done a good job of just understanding that on to the next one. And I'm sure they're playing for a bowl game, everything like that. So we have a lot online too. We're playing for a bowl game chance. So it's definitely good for them, but we got to play us.